Yep. You're on this side of the table still. I yep. I don't I don't know what to do with my hands. Where's Shrems? I think we even got a statement from him on this one. What <sighs> is that telling how good of a statement this is? I mean he... Next on Ugly Thirds. Welcome back, sports fans, to a quick episode on another uh, Jersey leak we have here. Uh, Phil, John, John, we're going to talk about the Rangers' new third that has leaked. So, take it away. Wait, has that thing been a touchscreen this whole time and you've been fumbling about? Yes, because my fingers are too fat that if I hit the wrong thing, it's going to go the wrong slide. Okay, well, that's that's par for what this news story is about. And the fact that, you know, nothing like breaking news three weeks after. I genuinely thought we'd get an unveiling by now. Like, it properly leaked. Yeah, and, like, someone bought one. And so, yeah, it, it blew up the, the sports world. Why the Rangers have decided not to release it or do a thing or push up anything blows my mind. I really thought we'd have an unveiling and then we'd have something worth talking about. I, I, I will put money on it. I bet you'll have it by next Friday because you're going to have Black Friday shopping, the holidays. Like If you're going to make money on what they actually released, this is going to be your opportunity because I don't know if you're going to make that much of a profit off it. Is, is Black Friday shopping even a thing anymore? Like All the Black Friday deals are happening long before and this is going to air after. So I guess we'll find out. I guess so. Yeah. So All right. So what, you know what, better than we do. Yeah, so what are we talking about? Right. And so here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Is there the... the bah, 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 bah. Wow. Yeah, I mean... I, I'm sure there's storytelling elements with the striping and it reflects like the... The, the the tiles in, in Grand Central Station or the metros, whatever, the subway. I mean, I, I, I'm sure there's all sorts of ridiculous stuff we're going to hear about it or the, the lights of Broadway nonsense. I genuinely hate this. Uh, yeah, I mean, you said about the whole subway thing, and I, did you have the, the collar in here? I don't know if you said the Oh, yeah, no, there is a... No, I did not put the... Unless... It, no, it's not... Because it's not the other thing sportslogos.net put. But, uh, yeah, so they're actually inside the collar and... You can kind it, of see. They, you'll, you'll, if you go to the next slide, you'll see it because it's just the, the... Yeah. So you can kind of see it up here that they do have um, the tile that you see in the, the subway stations there. And uh, I will be getting one just because, you know, that's my thing with these and so we can properly do a, a breakdown on it. But this is... It's very... Underwhelming. I mean, the Rangers have had a very classic look for many years. I mean, both of ours are different versions of what they have. You know, I mean, this was a third jersey. This was a good third jersey. I really thought it was a great way to, to reflect what else they were doing. Um, I those sleeve stripes are abysmal. Yeah, it's it's really the, the hemline's not bad. If the whole thing was based on the hemline, I think I'd love it. Yeah, it, it just it's so much doing like it's like whoosh yeah it, and, and gradients never look good and i feel like they tried to do an end around on gradients um the red striping is a northwestern stripe which is kind of interesting i i just i don't know what they were trying to do here i don't get it i totally am missing the point of this um you can show the back the next slide's the back it's a, it's navy, which some people thought was black. No, it's it's navy blue, which I don't mind a navy third. Clearly, uh, the Liberty was just as good in navy. Mm -hmm. I just I don't get the sleeves. What is what are they trying to do? It's certainly not a New York Americans thing. That's one thing that would have been like, oh, okay, it's an interesting homage to a team that well they pushed out into bankruptcy, but that's not the point. You know, um, I just I don't get it. And again, the bottom. Even with royal blue on top of navy, I think that's a rather interesting look and concept. It works. I think if you did, did that on the sleeves and, and maybe made it a little bigger, I think it'd be pretty cool, honestly. Or even something, you know, I mean, Boston's proven a bunch of stripes can work. Like, why, you, I just, I don't, I totally don't get this. The only thing I do like, which is probably the one thing that's the most blasphemous, if you want to go to the next slide, 
um, is the big logo on the front. I, I think the Rangers logo is excellent. I think it always has been. And while I'm never going to deny them their, their diagonal script, because that's been their look forever, I think the logo is underused. I'm shocked there's never been a proper shoulder patch, like, like other than Lady Liberty jerseys. And even then, it was a weird future version. Um, I mean, they tried a couple times. You had that... Uh... Three, three years in the 70s, they did it. Well, and then they had the stadium. It was a stadium series where they had like the, the, the shield that was more... That was a winter class. That was a winter class versus Philly. Um, even, I think, maybe... I don't know. I would like to see that with that winter classic shield rather than this one. I just it to me it's a little bit bulky, um, and it sounds, it's 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 almost a round at that point. And your round does always take up so it's, much. It's of the jersey. it's just it's been there. It's been around so long and it's so underused and it's a darn good logo. And I mean that's the one thing I like about that that and the and the hemline stripes I like. The rest of this, no, that's a no for me. I'm out for that reason. I'm out. Well, I, I, you know, we'll we'll see. Again, I've been waiting for what's been almost two weeks now. Um, yeah, it's been crazy. That's you know, we didn't release it, but like we were kind of waiting to see like if that actually got released. Like by now, I would have had it and I would have purchased it, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, we so. just kind of we were hoping to have a proper episode, not just let's show some pictures episode. But I mean, it is what it is, and we're not gonna let it sit forever. So that that's my thoughts at least. Um, Maybe we'll have Shrems do an addendum by the time this actually launches. Wait a minute. They chose Phil? Out of all the people that could have stepped in while I was on assignment, they chose Phil. And his computer. That uh, that's that thing is touchscreen and he's not using the touchscreen, Phil? What are you doing? Listen, this New York Rangers uh, jersey, I like quite a bit. Um, what John finds in its faults i understand but there's there's something about that navy look that really stands out and they've clearly had uh <clears throat> worse uniforms in their uh in their history however the the subway tile hanger effect it's 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 an adidas thing i like it i i, I hope these these hanger effects kind of stick around i thought it was a nice touch I, I don't get a stadium series vibe i don't get a lincoln tunnel vibe from it i, th I think it's going to be a true uh, third jersey for them. But there's something about that, that navy that makes it look regal. It makes it look sharp. I look at the sleeves and the striping on the sleeves and on the hemline. I could do without them. Or they could simplify them a little bit. What the sleeves remind me of, remember when you used to buy a uh, printer toner and it had to do a test on the page for you? Um, it looks like that's what they did on the sleeves. I don't think you need all that coloration. I, I think if you kept it simple, if you just went white on the sleeves or a white-red combination, I think it would look fine. Um, but that's just that's just my opinion. Um, we'll see what they actually end up doing with these things. But as of today, uh, end of November, those things aren't available for purchase yet. So it's not clear what they're doing with them for the remainder of the season. Black Friday has come and gone, so it's not going to be a... Uh, a, uh, a release to kind of cash in on the holiday season. So we'll see here. We got a couple weeks till Christmas and, and, and see if they roll it out then. But as of right now, it's, it's more than, uh, it's nothing more than just a rumor. But uh, he'll be back from being on assignment. And at at that point, yeah, I would, I would yeah. hope. But uh, yeah, no, we'll. Um, and hopefully then by then, the Rangers will release some information on what they were thinking about this. And, yeah, we'll get some storytelling elements, and we'll, we'll, we'll revisit this, I get the feeling, in a later episode. So, uh, there's not much there, so stay tuned. Phil, take us out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the bell, so you get notifications when new videos get posted, and tune in for another episode of... Screwing this up. Any day now. Ugly Thirds. He's not Shrems. I'm John. Phil, take us out? It is it's difficult doing both jobs at once, okay? <laughs>